Hi guys, welcome back to Blossom University. And of course, today we have yet another fabulous luxury bathing suit that we're gonna bling. Now this bathing suit already has a little bit of bling. If you can see, let's turn this way, right? So in the back, there's a chain, boom. And then there's like two other chains and it's like that on each side. So that's super cute. And then I'll be adding this applique to the bathing suit. So it's gonna be really, really gorgy. I cannot wait. We're gonna jump right into the video. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe. Um, I have a workbook, of course, so links in the bio. And yeah, let's get started. So I start by cutting the mesh around uh, one side of the applique. I'm gonna use the side that I'm cutting as the top. And you wanna be really careful because I ended up cutting off one of the stones. So I have to sew that back on. But I um, start pinning the applique, of course. You wanna pin the applique first. I only use four pins because it's a pretty medium, small to medium applique. And I get my needle and thread and begin to stitch. And it takes me about a minute or two to add that additional stone that fell off. So that's what I'm doing now because um, it's that easy. So I continue on and I stitch around the edges. It's an in and out method that I use. And I stitch around the edges of the applique and I do this throughout the top, the sides, and the bottom. Now you can see that as I'm going along, I remove the pins that I initially added and I just stitch in the area where the pin used to be. One thing I will say is that when you're stitching on this applique, you wanna be careful not to get the thread caught uh, in the rhinestones because they tend to catch on the coverings of the rhinestones. So that's one thing that I noticed that I had to um, try to avoid. So here you see me just continuing around. It literally took me about 20 minutes, I would say, to overall sew this applique onto the swimsuit. But if I didn't cut that one rhinestone, I think I would have been around the 15 minute margin. Um, but I would say you don't want to rush. Definitely take your time. And here I'm just finishing up my knot. I'm tying it up several times. And then I cut the ending string. And here you'll see that I'm going to iron on this applique as well. So in your workbook, which you will see, uh, there is a portion where it shows you um, at which temperatures and how long you're supposed to apply heat. So this is the final look. I think it's beautiful. I love this bathing suit. I'm going to pair this with a Swarovski um, cover up, of course, most likely like a pants or something mesh or something really cute. And of course that will be super bling and then the top will be just, you know, a little bling but not too much. So thank you for watching. Again, if you haven't subscribed, you can all follow me on my YouTube, which is Blossoming Jasmine. And I look forward to creating again with you. Love you lots. Blossoming Jasmine.